And he took away the hope for cancer patients on purpose with intention. A former FBI agent underscores the reason she believes the Kansas City pharmacist who diluted cancer drugs should not be let out of prison early. And for now, he won't. It is a sigh of relief for families of patients who are wronged by the convicted pharmacist after hearing Courtney will stay in prison at least for the next few months. Courtney is serving a 30-year prison sentence but was eligible to get out today. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake talked to a widower of a cancer patient who took drugs provided by Courtney. The news of Courtney's release sparked outrage from lawmakers and families, and it only took a matter of days to get in and block it. Wes Thompson got on the phone and started working with lawmakers immediately when he found out Robert Courtney, the pharmacist who diluted cancer treatments for profit, was being released from prison early due to COVID-19 concerns. When people see something that's wrong and they do the right thing, it's easy. This was four days four days to stop this. Thompson's wife, Sarah, died of cancer in 1999. She was on the receiving end of Courtney's scheme. In 2002, Courtney pleaded guilty to a number of charges, including misbranding drugs. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison. He says he's a changed man, but how can you be a changed man if you're asking to be let out of prison because you had cancer, when the very reason you're in prison is because you diluted cancer drugs? My reaction is just hallelujah. Maybe there is justice. Melissa Osborne is a pharmacist and former FBI agent who worked Courtney's case. She sat with him for hours, going through all the medications he watered down. She says he even admitted to diluting medication worth only $5. So to her, it was more than just greed. Robert Courtney is a monster. He's a sociopath. He has no feelings. He didn't have any remorse for anything that he did. Courtney won't be getting out on Thursday, but his release is under review. It's not done, but I think they stopped it. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. About an hour ago, we spoke with Representative Emanuel Cleaver, who joined forces with other state leaders to stop Courtney from being released today. He told us this is a temporary hold and Courtney could be up for release in another six months. Cleaver wants family members of the victims to know they're not alone. You need to feel good about one thing, I hope, and that is that this community has rallied behind you, uh, rallied behind the people who were damaged by Robert Courtney, and we're going to stand up, and to the degree that we can push back against the Justice Department, we intend to do that. Cleaver told us this whole issue has to do with the plea Courtney took back in 2002. He pleaded guilty to tampering, which is a nonviolent crime. Under the broad guidelines released by Attorney General William Barr, those with nonviolent crimes can be released early if they're vulnerable to COVID-19. Robert Courtney falls within that category. You can go to KSHB.com to read about the group of lawmakers who made the plea to the Justice Department to stop Courtney's planned release.